So today I'm talking about a P0962 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0962 code? Well, it's a pressure control solenoid A control circuit low. And so what does this mean? Well, basically automatic transmissions have a lot of solenoids built into them. And these solenoids allow the computer to control the fluid pressure, which is then going to be used to shift gears at the right time, different things like this. But when you get this P0962 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these solenoids, mainly the pressure control solenoid A, and so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0962 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low transmission fluid, dirty transmission fluid, or a clogged up transmission filter. Although this code is pointing more towards a wiring problem or a circuit issue, if there's some kind of issue going on with the transmission fluid, that will affect the transmission and all the solenoids that are inside of there. So if possible, it's a good idea to go check the transmission fluid and check to see if it's at the right level and that the fluid's not too dirty. Many vehicles nowadays, they no longer let you check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. But if you can, it's a good idea to go and check it and just be sure it's at the right level. Because if the transmission fluid is low or really dirty or anything like this, it can't affect those solenoids that are built into the transmission. And the next thing that causes is a bad pressure control solenoid A or the wiring going to it. If you do go to work on your transmission, you will need to get a diagram where all these solenoids are located, along with wiring schematics and things along those lines, because every transmission is going to be different in its layout and different things like this. But basically, you locate that solenoid A on that particular transmission. And once you locate it, you can go and test it, along with testing the wiring going to it. There's some different ways to go about testing those solenoids. A very common method is to use a multimeter, look up what the rated ohms are supposed to be for that specific solenoid. Since again, there's going to be differences. And you check to see if it falls inside that range. And if it doesn't fall inside the range it's supposed to be at, or if it's open, then you know it's bad and you know it needs to be replaced. So you can't use a multimeter to go and test the solenoid and check to see if it's bad or if it's good. You can also check the wiring going to the solenoid. You can check and be sure you're getting voltage going to it, along with a good ground wire. And if you're not getting voltage at that solenoid, then you know there's some kind of wiring issue. If you're not getting voltage up to that solenoid, then be sure to check for any blowing fuses or anything like this. It's also possible that there's a bad wire, like an open or a short or something like that. Sometimes rodents can get up and underneath a vehicle and they can chew on the wires which is going to cause problems. But basically, if there's any kind of problem inside the wiring, like an open, a short, blowing fuse, anything like that, then that's going to cause problems. So the next thing that could cause this is a bad pressure control solenoid A or the wiring going to it. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of transmission problem going on that's stopping that solenoid from working correctly. And so this is going to be something like a bad pump, a bad valve body. There's a blocked passage going to that control solenoid A that the fluid can't get to it for some reason or something along these lines. Although if that happens, usually you'll be getting a lot of other codes. So if you are getting a lot of other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the transmission that's not allowing that solenoid from working. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And this is going to be like a bad transmission control module or a bad powertrain control module or something along those lines. And this isn't too common. Usually when you get a P0962 code, it's going to be something else, some kind of problem with that solenoid or some kind of wiring issue. But it does happen sometimes. Sometimes these computers go bad. One thing to mention if you do think you have a computer issue is be sure that the batteries charge. Be sure your battery terminals look like they're connected good. There's no corrosion or anything like this. Because all these computers, they need a good stable power supply along with the good ground or else you could throw them off and just cause them to do weird things. So if you do think you have a bad computer, be sure that the power going to it is good because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0962 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.